Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy, Kuya P and our dub nerds rule the world. I'm here with the one, the only Glenn Lawrence, the brother that levels me up. How are you, Glenn? I'm doing swell, man. What's going on? How are you? How about you? I'm good, man. I'm good. A little tired, but you know, we, it's, we, we putting in that work. Let's put putting in, that, in work. that work. We're giving it to the people. We got a lot of amazing stuff coming uh, to y'all. So y'all going to see the fruits of that labor very soon. Uh, so right now we got a trailer react, man. You know how we do. We love to Let's react, see what's coming up so we can talk on it and maybe, you know, set things up for the future with, with these different projects. So uh, I got a new banger, hopefully banger, but A24 usually delivers bangers, brother. So uh, I got a film called Bo is Afraid. You ready to check out this A24 Ooh. joint? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. I think, we, I think I've, seen, so this. I've seen this. Have I seen this? For what your daddy passed down to you. But I wanted a child. The greatest gift of my life. I'm visiting my mother tomorrow. Hi, Carrot. It's Mom. I'm just calling to say that I'm so, so, so excited to see you tomorrow. You're my angel and I love you. Okay. I love you. Okay, bye, sweetie. I love you. Are you at the airport? I'm on my way. I just... It's not safe, is it? What do you think I should do? I'm sure you'll do the right thing, sweetheart. Welcome back. I hit you with my car. What? I know. <laughs> What was this? That's my little assistant health monitor. Feeling sad about going home, Bo? Must feel totally unreal. I'm supposed to be leaving. I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> you will walk many miles. Dozens will become hundreds. Hundreds will become thousands. Your adventures will continue for years and years. As soon as you get home. I know. Ooh, creepy. Do you want the truth now? Wow. Okay. There we go. Interesting. April, dude. What do you think of that, Glenn Lawrence? Looks very, very interesting. It looks like it's uh probably dealing with schizophrenia or something like that, and maybe told through the eyes of a schizophrenic. Um, I I, I gotta read a little bit more on it. I gotta uh you know do a little bit more research, but it definitely looks like it's gonna be good. I know Walking Phoenix is uh uh he's amazing uh in everything that he does, so I'm very excited to see what he brings to like this role it looks it looks great so far it looks like i might be confused but hopefully once the story starts it like starts making sense but it looks like one of those you know eternal uh eternal sunshine of the spotless mind or whatever like one of those weird being john malkovich like inside meta type um uh journeys and uh i feel like i'm ready to go on it so it looks kind of interesting i'm kind of interested to see what it's about what about you man you, you checking it out it's a total A24 film. Uh, yeah. I will say that. Um, amazing. L a lot of interesting imagery. Joaquin Phoenix, you know, Academy Award winner. Uh, we have uh, uh, Parker Posey in there. Just Nathan Lane, Amy Ryan, uh, that cast. Um, but the name that really grabbed me, though, was Ari Aster. Have you ever seen, like, Hereditary and Midsommar? No, or were, are those too too horror free? Because I know you're not a horror cat. Yeah, I'm usually don't do the horror thing. So, but I've I've seen of them and I heard that they were really amazing. Um, but uh, yeah. So he's the director, producer, or? he writer, director, okay. beast, beast of a filmmaker. Just as you see, gives you amazing imagery. You know, a very creative cat. That and and that's what 
makes you gravitate towards his films because uh, he knows how to shoot. He knows mm-hmm. how to frame those shots. Um, and he knows how's, how's to write something that will connect we, with you in some way. And uh, so that's what's really grabbing me. Um, everything else is just icing on the cake. So yeah, Ari Aster is a beast filmmaker. So that would be the primary reason I check this out with everything else being, again, like I said, icing. Uh, don't know what the fuck is going on, but uh, yeah, I like the idea, like the notion. I think you hit it the nail on the head with like, you know, being John Malkovich and like, you just, you don't know what's going on. There's a lot of different things. I don't know where in, in his head, if we're in his head or when, when is his head, when is reality? Um, there's a lot there and I don't know what is all happening, but I'm here for that ride. And I know with Ari Aster, I'm going to get a very well-written, creatively, beautifully shot, done film. And so I'm, I'm here for it, bro. I'm not afraid for Bo is afraid. Ah, Right. I got you all that. I I have some suspicions of what I think is going on in the film, but I'll, I'll tell you later. For now, I'll just say I want to see it. It looks interesting and uh, I'm down 100 percent. All right. There we go. Glenn, how can people talk to you if they want to talk all things Bo is Afraid? Uh, check me out on levelupcomedy.com or Glenn Levels Up on Twitter, Glenn Lawrence Comedy on Facebook, as well as IG. All right. And for me, it's the Legend Cooley P on Twitter, TikTok, IG, Hive. And of course, here with Heather, Glenn, everybody at the NRW at New Release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. That is our thoughts on Bo is Afraid. Don't be afraid. Let us know what you think about Bo's Afraid in the comments below, y'all.